so i didn't really have an idea about this like where do i want to apply i don't know att and you don't need to like do all do everything from scratch so you'll need around that much money to actually process it if you're gonna use an agency Hey guys, it's Danica and welcome back to my channel. To those who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Danica. I'm a registered nurse in the Philippines, here in the UK, and in the US as well. If you're new here in this channel, I encourage you to click on the subscribe button below and also the bell button beside it so that you will be notified every time that we have an update. Guys, for today's video is probably the most um, awaited vlog because I'll be talking about my US application as a nurse. So let me just give certain circumstances before you actually, you know, um, proceed with this video. So even though I'm working here in the UK, obviously I'm still processing it as a Filipino citizen. Also guys, I've used an agency actually. So if you're doing it like a DIY, I don't know if this will actually help you, but probably you'll get some of the ideas. So in this video, we'll be talking about my agency, the processing time, the fees, um, and all that. So yes! If you guys are interested in this video, then please keep on watching. Alright guys, so I want it to be like brief and concise, but also I might miss some areas. Probably will not go into, you know, more details about certain stuff, but obviously this will help you, will guide you through if you're thinking about processing your US application or your NCLEX application. And yeah, at least it will give you an idea what sort of you know how long you're gonna be waiting and like how much money you actually need to when you process it so yes let's go alrighty so pardon me with my notes I also flushed some screenshots probably from the emails so yes I've actually used NEAC so it's spelled as N-E-A-C obviously this is in the Philippines I don't know if you're um, processing it um, in a different country but I did use an agency they're called NEAC so it's the same agency that my um, sister used so there's no specific reason why NEAC <laughs> but obviously because my sister has used this agency before and everything went smoothly so I'll just just go with NEAC. <laughs> so yes, they have a website and they also have a Facebook if you want to find them and just inquire. But anyway, so it was August 22nd, 2022 when I actually started my US application. So when you have an agency, guys, I think the benefit of it is that if you're working full-time like me and you don't have much time, at least they can just process it. Like, you know, it's gonna be easier because they'll just be asking you the requirements and they will talk you through all the steps. It's just been really, you know, hassle-free for me. But obviously, I understand if you don't have that much money. So you will probably choose to do it yourself. But also because if you have agency, they're probably experts, right, about what things to do and stuff. And they'll show you some of the benefits, actually, when you do use an agency in processing your NCLEX. So this is not sponsored by NEAC by any chance. Um, it's just a good experience with them so might as well share it with you. Anyway, so I messaged him first on Facebook because I don't have any idea what's gonna be the first step. Like nothing at all. And my application for the US that time was just a backup plan, right? So they will ask you to register on their website and then you will fill up the pre-eligibility form. So there is gonna be a list of requirements. So this is the requirement. A pass sports size photo with a white background PRC license that's your nursing license in the country you are from <laughs> so yes it should be active and then your Bachelor of Science in Nursing diploma your high school diploma your TOR or transcript of records um, passport with signature and PRC board rating certificate so this is your um, nursing rating when you took your certification whichever country you're coming from you will just send it via email by the way guys if you're gonna be with NEA they will ask you to pay 69 USD or US dollars so this is just an initial fee basically and it will be deducted later on um, with all the fees that I'm gonna be telling you so 69 USD to start the application with a website you can monitor the progress of your application and you need it's just pretty straightforward basically just fill up whatever the form is asking also guys for applicants in the Philippines um, they will also be asking about the PRC online so I actually have one before because when you renew your license in the Philippines you can easily just do it online so you can just collect your new PRC license you know um, at any branch nearest to you so you can let them 
handle it, you just give them your login and your password. Obviously, you can change it afterwards, but otherwise, I felt safe anyway in giving them my my password and stuff. And after that, you will choose which state you'd like to apply and they will send you an email about the specific requirements and like the processing time for whichever state you'd like to. So I didn't really have an idea about this, like where do I want to apply? I don't know. But obviously different states have different requirements and one of the easiest and most popular I think is New York, which is where I applied to as well. So if you choose New York, um, there's no work experience. Um, no English exam required. Processing time takes six to nine months upon receipt of all documents by the education department and depending on the volume of applicants they're processing. But the good thing with New York is the eligibility is valid for five years. So that's very good because even if you failed, for example, your NCLEX, when um, all the checks have been done and obviously the eligibility is still valid for five years so you can just renew ATT and you don't need to like do all do everything from scratch from this point actually when you say like okay I'd like to go for New York you will receive the step-by-step -step process and what to expect as well the time scale like what I've read to you but obviously if you choose a different state they will also give um, all the details so for the eligibility application, processing is actually six to nine months upon receipt of all the documents. It's not actually the day you start applying with the agency, but it's actually when they received all your documents. So that's when the time starts. That's the six to nine months if you chose New York. And from this point, actually, guys, they asked me another payment. So, right, this is it. <laughs> so. 143 USD dollars for eligibility application form, 40 USD for continuing education, 22 USD for payment protection plan, 89 USD for PRC validation and express mailing fee, and then 62.72 USD for remaining NEAC fee, which in total is 356 USD. Um, they've already deducted the 69 USD initial fee. So don't ask me what are those other fees because I don't know. <laughs> we just paid it. So yeah, total of 356 USD. And then there's an additional 25 USD for international transaction. And you can also pay via credit card. They will create an invoice if you don't want to pay it via debit. So yes, 356 USD. That's the first like, you know, payment before you actually process your ATT. So again, this fee is just for the eligibility application. It's just knowing if you're eligible to take the exam. And then afterwards, they will ask you actually to fill up a child abuse and infection control test. So I think it's just a few questions really. So I've heard from the other agency in the Philippines, they will just literally give the certificate to you. But with NEAG, they still ask us to read it, at least, you know, fill up the form ourselves and then pass it back to them. But um, the thing with agency, I think they already have the answers to this one. So you will receive like a certificate that you've actually passed it and like, you know, you got 100%, something like that. So I think it's still very good with Nea because at least you still try to answer, but it doesn't matter if you answered something incorrectly because, which you know, they just want you to actually know what is that. But yeah, they will send you a certificate that's been completed so you don't have to worry about it. And I received an email actually on October 11, 2022 that they've received all my forms. So I processed it August 20... So by October 11, 2022, they've already received all my documents. So this is, again, all the requirements they've asked me. Then guys, if you chose New York, you also need to fill up New York application form. So this is specifically to whatever state you chose. So they asked for my school and PRC liability waiver, your NEAC third party authorization so they can, you know, track it and stuff. And then nurse 3F form. So anyway, guys, this forms, the agency will email it to you and you know ask you what you know forms to fill up at this point in your application so for the second lot of payment 
this is the breakdown. So 200 USD for the ATT registration, 150 USD for the exam scheduling fee, 7.95 USD for the quick result fee, and then 79 USD for the ATT exam and QR service, and then 9.48 USD for the 12% VAT in total of 446.63 USD. That's the second lot of payment aside from the 356 I've told you earlier. For the ATT registration, two to three months before the applicant's target exam date. So when you actually pay for your ATT, think about, you know, are you actually ready to actually take the exam? Again, the validity of the new year application is five years. So within those five years, you know, you can actually stop from that point and then maybe carry on again and then process your ATT once you feel like you're actually ready because then you will have to have like a due date actually afterwards. ATT registration processing time once you actually register for an ATT is one to six weeks and then ATT is valid for 90 days and good for one exam day only. So once your ATT has been approved, it's valid for 90 days. So within those 90 days, you should schedule your exam. And the next timeline would be Feb 8, 2023, just this year. <laughs> My ATT was approved, which is actually quite a surprise because I was thinking it's gonna be longer. I receive all my forms October, so November, December, January, February, around four months it took me to actually get approved to take the exam. That's actually um, quick already, um, as I was told. <laughs> and I was actually surprised because I was thinking maybe like mid-2023 before I actually get approved and stuff. And I wasn't, you know, um, trying to review at that point. But yeah, I was surprised because it's actually quick. And then from this point, um, your agency or NEAC will actually email you about the available exam dates. So you just need to tell them which month are we looking at. So that was February. So I felt pressured actually, okay, like, well, am I gonna do this now or not? So I was, I, I told them I wanted to take the exam around June or was it July or April? April or June, I think. So they sent me available dates from April to June and then I just chose um, what date I wanted to. Also guys, there's an additional 30 USD actually if you're taking an exam abroad and not in the Philippines. Good news is you can actually reschedule your exam um, seven days prior. For example, I've already chose like June 1st so I can actually reschedule it seven days prior to June 1 around um, May, I'm not very good at math, May 24 or 23, I can still reschedule it seven days prior to the exam date you've, re you've actually wanted. But there is a rescheduling fee of 35 USD. Alright guys, so in summary, the, it cost around, I was just um, trying to add the total, so it's around 802 USD for all the processing Fee, but obviously it's not included if I think I haven't included like the 30 USD transaction fee if it's international so maybe around 800 to 900 USD actually to process your US application or your NCLEX application so you'll need around that much money to actually process it if you're gonna use an agency and for the timeline so Again, guys, I started the application August and then my documents has been received October. But the waiting time actually starts in October when they receive all the documents. And from October to February, that's four months. And then from there, I'll stop because then at, from that point that you actually have your approval for ATT, it's your old timeline. You can set it if you want to take the exam very soon or not. But obviously, guys, you have five years if you chose New York to sort out, you know, the review time you need and all that. So, yes. Anyway, guys, I hope this video helped and it didn't bore you. If you have further questions, comment down below. Or if something is unclear or maybe you want me to focus on one certain thing, I can probably create a content about that too as well. Anyway, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and I'll see you again in the next one.